Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna cover quite a bit of content. I'm gonna talk about some of the latest updates to the Uncovered Jailbreak. We're gonna discuss about the lack of on-device signing services. I'm gonna recap the Alt Store uh, installation method, both on Windows and Mac side by side. Then I'll show you how to update to the latest version of Uncover. I'll give you some tips on refreshing and keeping Uncover signed. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the Alt Store beta and other signing alternatives. Now I'm going to timestamp everything in this video so you guys can pick and choose to the topics that interest you. Let's get into things. So first on the docket, let's talk about some of the major updates to the Uncover jailbreak. Since recording my first jailbreak tutorial, there have been three major updates to the Uncover jailbreak. We're now at version 6.1.0, all of these updates improve stability and performance on iOS 14. You now can set your generator, and for me, one of the main problems I was running into is random rebooting. Uh, I was rocking the Uncovered Jailbreak since day one, and on the initial release, even with no tweaks installed, throughout the day I would have random reboots where my phone would just restart. So the other major issue I wanted to cover is when people were clicking Jailbreak, this process was actually failing like on step nine. Now I will say I've not had this Jailbreak fail uh, to actually jailbreak my phone once. The success rate and stability is just absolutely insane. Like not even once guys. And I use the alt store method. Now the cause of it failing at stage nine actually turned out to be because of certain on-device signing platforms. Now there's nothing wrong with those platforms except for the fact they had outdated code running on them. And that's what was causing the crash. Now Pwn in his latest update added a check a detection basically so if it detects out of date code it will give you that error message explaining why it failed but if that error is happening to you stick around we're going to cover the alt store method for both windows and mac in today's video once more in a little bit simpler fashion and streamlined uh, just because of the fact that on-device signing platforms, at least free ones, are incredibly rare this year. And not that they're rare, it's just their certificates uh, get revoked within like a matter of hours. That's why I haven't done an on-device uh, how to jailbreak tutorial because it's only valid for about four hours until their certificate's down. So with that being the case, I figured I'd recap the alt store method in today's video as well as how to keep your jailbreak utility signed and updated uh, when there's a new update out. So like always, all of the downloads you need are in the first link in this video's description on our best tech info article. So to get Uncover signed on our devices with this method, you're going to need to install Alt Store via Alt Server running on a Mac or Windows based PC. So starting in reverse order to get Alt Server on a Mac, you can head to the links down below and download it. Once downloaded, you unzip the file and then move the application to the apps folder and click on the app to open it. Now once open, it appears up here in the status bar, we're going to install the mail plugin. We can go ahead and open up the mail app to enable this. Make sure you have a mail account active in this app. From here, we can go to preferences manage plugins and activate the alt server plugin and it's going to restart the mail app once it's done now you can minimize mail but definitely leave this open in the background for it to work correctly so now alt server is installed and ready to use so a few extra steps on windows one you first have to download itunes and icloud directly from apple site just select looking for other versions to download those also, uninstall the Microsoft Store version of iTunes before doing this process. Uh, to make sure things go smoothly, first install iCloud and enable iCloud Drive and bookmarks, and then install iTunes. Again, the Apple version, not Windows. Now we can download Alt Store directly from the site. Again, open up the application and install it real fast. Uh, once it is installed, we can launch it. Just search for it in the bottom left. Now it's located in the system tray. To open it, you can expand and show hidden icons if you don't see it, but right there is Alt Server. Uh, so we're ready for the next step. So to install Alt Store with Alt Server, since it's up and running, uh, you can connect your iPhone to your computer and trust the connection on both devices. 
Uh, once it's trusted, we can head to Finder on a Mac or iTunes and navigate to our iPhone's little pane here. You're just gonna wanna click Show This iPhone When on Wi-Fi. And now you're free to un unplug the iPhone uh, and you can continue to install Alt Store over a Wi-Fi connection instead of having to plug it in every time. So from here, we can click on the Alt Server button, then click Install Alt Store on your iPhone's name, enter your Apple ID credentials, click OK if you get this pop-up if you've used Alt Store in the past, and in just a second, Alt Store will be installed on our phone. Now lastly, to open the app on the device, we're going to go into Settings, General, Device Management, and Trust our Apple ID. Okay, so now we can get into Alt Store on our phones. Uh, we no longer need the computer for now. Now is the best time to download the latest version of Uncover. So with that downloaded, we can head back to Alt Store, click the plus icon in the top left, find Uncover, and then just tap on it and it will install. Again, if it's your first time using Alt Store, sign in with your Apple ID again on the device itself and just let it finish. So, whew, Uncover is finally installed via the Alt Store method and now you can jailbreak. So real quickly to cover the jailbreak process, you literally just click a jailbreak down here. You'll have to go through this process twice. It will restart midway through. Just go back into the Uncover app, click jailbreak once more. Once that's done, it will respring and then you'll be back on the home screen jailbroken with Cydia installed right there. So for everyone watching this video, simply looking how to update Uncover, it's super simple. You're just gonna head to the links down below in this video's description to download the latest version of Uncover. Then you can actually go into the Alt Store. Uh, you don't actually have to be jailbroken for this process, uh, but then just click the plus and select the latest version of the Uncover jailbreak. Well, while this is signing, and once this is done signing in the background, you're going to restart your device, just shut it down, and re-jailbreak to apply the latest updates of the Uncover jailbreak. But it's that simple, guys. You don't even have to delete the old version of the jailbreak to install the new one. It just overwrites it. So I hope that helps out those users for the next portion of this video. We're gonna talk about how you keep the uncovered jailbreak signed for as long as possible on your device. So real fast, uh, I didn't really highlight this enough in my last video, but just like years past, you're going to have to re-sign or refresh the uncovered jailbreak utility every seven days. That's what this little icon right here represents. Now the easiest way to keep this updated is just by leaving alt server on your computer running. Just have it open at login uh, and make sure you have that show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi checked like we did in this tutorial. Now every time you come home and are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, Alt Store will then just automatically refresh your apps in the background without you having to do anything. And if you're using a laptop, just once every seven days, you're gonna have to open up your laptop launch Alt Server, and then just click Refresh right here on your iPhone manually. So once Alt Store is installed, maintaining your jailbreak is not too terrible, especially if Alt Server is left running on, like at home on your computer. The main benefit with this method is it's much more reliable than a free on-device signing service when their certificates can expire really quickly but things could be even easier. Now, if you're familiar with Alt Store, you may remember last year, you could install this tweak called Alt Daemon. Uh, and what this does is this tweak lets you run Alt Server directly on your iOS device, allowing you to refresh your apps via Alt Store while jailbroken. Well, sadly, the current public release of Alt Store is broken on iOS 14. Uh, it just doesn't work. If you refresh your apps using Alt Daemon, you're going to get this error when trying to open up Uncover or Alt Store after rebooting to a non-jailbroken state. So if your phone crashes and you try to open up Uncover again, you're gonna get this error. But the really cool thing is the developer of Alt Store has a beta up on his Patreon uh, that works on iOS 14. Now eventually this update will be coming out to all users for free, but if you wanna get your hands on it early, it's three bucks a month to subscribe and get this beta version. Now, this video is not a paid promotion or anything. I just wanted to report that there's a fix and it's on its way. You can get early access if you want. 
Uh, this early access though, it's a major update coming to alt store soon. It's been in beta for like three months, so I have no idea when it's coming out. Uh, but my favorite new feature is A, alt daemon's going to work, and then B, you can sign multiple devices with one Apple ID. Right now it's limited to one device per Apple ID, and it drives me crazy when I have like four phones for videos, but I'm sure there's some of you out there that have an iPhone and an iPad that you have to use separate IDs for. It's, it's annoying. Awesome fix right there. So just to demo Alt Daemon, you uh, literally just go to Cydia and install it. It's on Pack IX. Uh, you restart your springboard. You can quit Alt Server on your computer. And now you can go back to Alt Store and click refresh and it refreshes directly on device. Note that with this beta, Alt Store will actually crash after refreshing as it now completely reinstalls both Uncover and Alt Store. So that crash is supposed to happen. Now after refreshing, you'll note that when you restart your phone or if it crashes and you try to jailbreak again, the Uncover app actually opens and you no longer get that error. So with this tweak, your apps will automatically refresh on your device, essentially making the Uncovered Jailbreak be signed forever. Note, however, that Alt Daemon only runs while jailbroken. So if you leave your device in a non-jailbroken state for longer than seven days, the apps will not refresh. Lastly, I kind of forgot about this signing service, but if you're willing to pay like 19 bucks a year, Signulus has great reliability for on-device signing. Uh, it is paid. This is not a paid promotion again, just throwing out options. It's a pretty easy service to use, but it's 19 bucks per device, so it's kind of spendy. All in all, it really sucks that there's not a free on-device signing service, uh, and they keep getting shut down so quickly, but honestly, once you have Alt Store and Alt Daemon uh, set up, it's super easy to keep your uncovered jailbreak signed. Very lastly, to end this video on kind of a fun note, I just thought I'd mention this, that the Alt Store uh, has an iOS 14 widget that you can throw directly on your home screen. You can keep track of how many more days you have until your apps expire. And uh, if you notice they're getting low, you can manually pop into it and just click refresh. Anyhow, I thought that was a pretty cool widget. Um, but that pretty much concludes this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Definitely give this video a huge thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content from us. But yeah, have fun jailbreaking, guys. I'll catch you soon in another quick video. But until then, this is Tony signing out.